Hi folks, here's a look at paper goods for prepping. Um, I just came back from the store today and I bought a bunch of toilet paper. We had actually been going through our year's worth supply, so I decided to go restock up. Imagine that, we were actually using the stuff, yes. <laughs> and uh, I got about, I'd say half a year's supply today, and I'm gonna, there's the spot I have to f yet fill of, uh, for extra toilet paper. Can only fit so much in the car, though. Um, here's some other products that I do have that I think it's a good idea to have on hand. Um, found this at a garage sale grain mill. Haven't used it yet, but it was only $2, and I thought, well, that's worth a go. Garage sales are a great place to get prepper items. Um, bleach. Uh, bleach does have a shelf life, which is actually real. I think it's about one to two years, but I think it's better to have bleach on hand than not. I probably have about maybe six or seven bottles total, and I do go use those with the laundry, so that does get uh, recycled and circulated. Um, Another great grab at garage sales are paper and plastic cups and forks, spoons, knives, paper plates, of course. Um, I grab as much of those as I can find. Um, they're usually pretty cheap at the dollar store, but if you get go to an estate sale or something, you can get them for next to nothing. Um, I recommend grabbing those because you don't obviously need any water, and you can even use some of the paper products as fuel if you had to. Another good thing, fishing line. Um, a million and one uses and very easy to find at garage sales for not much money. I picked up a bunch of gloves today. Just have a funny feeling with um, any difficult situation in an apocalyptic pinch, you might need to be cleaning and scrubbing things a lot and your hands are could get the wear and tear of that. And these were all a dollar at the dollar store. I thought that was pretty good. Um, latex industrial gloves, even a buck at the dollar store. I missed the 20% off day at Big Lots yesterday just because I couldn't get there and uh, broke my heart, but I'll get it next time. <laughs> um, work gloves. You can never have too many work gloves. Those are going to be critically important, so stock up on those when you get those. Ajax with bleach, old Dutch cleanser, Comet, something like that where you can really scrub surfaces. Um, I have a lot more soap inside. I, uh, I just have these out here because they came out from the garage sale. Uh, purified drinking water thing like a Brita filter, that type of thing. Um, I have other ways to treat water as well, but this is just something I happened to pick up. thought it might be a good idea. Lots of uh, dishwash detergent. Don't know how that's going to work out when the uh, apocalyptic pinch comes along, but got some just for general use. Some uh, all-round cleaners for everything. Um, very inexpensive at the dollar store, and this stuff works great if anybody's used it. Um, this is a, the Sternos. I got these at garage sales, not used. Um, I don't know, quarter each, something like that. They were great. Uh, a converter. In my hopes that the electricity will come back on one day, um, after it goes out, of course, and a battery charger. Good things to have in the pinch time. Lots of string. You can use string and twine for many things. It's a good dry item to have. Um, Kleenex. You can never have too much Kleenex. I, my family goes through Kleenex like it's Kleenex. And uh, so I recommend getting a good load of Kleenex. I saw some at the dollar store of the Scotty's brand, the good stuff, for a buck for the big box, 200 count. Um, I also have a local uh, Bent and Dent warehouse that I go to, and I can buy, um, like, pro uh, they go to Costco and BJ's and uh, Sam's Club, and they buy the broken boxes, and then you can get it there for even less than you can get it at those stores. So that's a good source. And uh, wax paper, foil, cling wrap, you're going to want to be able to protect your food. Uh, keep things clean. Uh, it, it's gonna, you can use the plastic wrap as water resistant wrap as well. So many uses. Um, I actually got a lot of this at garage sales or at, um, uh, we have a 
grocery store in town that's a salvage store and they buy end lots odd lots from other stores and you can get some good uh, products there for next to nothing just look under grocery salvage um, google it and look in your area and you might be lucky and find one paper towels my husband loves these things I really don't need them I use napkins um, a big fat roll of cling wrap this thing will last forever I got that at the uh, the warehouse black garbage bags white garbage bags I'm totally low on these I need to get more uh, Ziploc bags you can never have too many of those I also got these Ziploc bags at the like the Costco place the for the broken boxes the warehouse and you get so many in this uh, container that'll last a very long time uh, one thing um, I think it's too late now but the 100 watt light bulbs if you're a fan of those I think they took those off the market I love the 100 watt light bulbs and I do not like the um, squirrely green you know the uh, they look like a screw top type thing those kind of light bulbs they have the mercury gas in them and if you break them you practically have to evacuate the house for 24 hours so nobody inhales mercury vapor so I really do like the old incandescent traditional light lights if we do have electricity I want to have 100 watt if I can so I can really see what I'm doing the eyesight's starting to go over time so it really doesn't make a difference I got this box full of them and now they don't sell them anymore so I have had to pick up some what are these 60s and stuff like that uh, so if you see any of the hundreds grab them uh, more garbage bags and here's just a nice stock of band-aids this is where I keep them on the garage they should be fine freezer bags a little thicker more industrial strength uh, tougher good for a million and one purposes a whole bunch of twin blade razors if you can get those at a discount that's a good idea cotton swabs these are critical uh, I primarily use them to apply hydrogen peroxide to cuts and scrapes um, and you just pour a little in the the lid of the bot from the bottle dip your q-tip in it apply to the wound and then don't re-dip in the uh, in the liquid in the cup and then when you're done you can pour the liquid in the cup or the lid back into the bottle that way your hydrogen peroxide will last a very long time I know it's not expensive 50 cents a dollar but um, if there's no more for sale it will become like gold okay um, so there you go uh, just a quick video on um, paper goods and some dry products for prepping happy happy prepping everybody this is healthy prepper Thank you.